Hey developers, how's it going? Uh, in this video, you'll learn about uh, everything you need to know about the big O notation, okay? And uh, what is the big O and what are the space and time complexity? We'll be going to speak about this, okay? Okay, uh, what is the big O? Uh, big O measures performance of our algorithms. And uh, always we have uh, two questions and uh, big O answers for this, which are the whenever input size is growth of our algorithms and what are the time and space complexity of these algorithms, okay? For this, big O answers, okay? And especially in computer science, we have uh, three notation, and which are the big omega, and big theta, and big, not big O notation, okay? And uh, let's want to speak first, firstly about uh, time complexity first, and then we're gonna speak about uh, space complexity also, okay? And uh, time complexity, okay, and you know, whenever we are measuring our uh, algorithms, performance of our algorithms, yes, and uh, we have a six type of, especially six type of complexity. And uh, let's gonna speak through my turn. And firstly, first of all, uh, which is the big O one, which is the constant time complexity. And uh, imagine I have a functions, yes, I have functions, it takes X and then, and inside I have a defined one variable, which is the res is equal to and the X plus five. And then I'm just printing this res, okay? And let's we'll calculate uh, time complexity of the for this function. And firstly, this line of code is O1, and uh, which is you know, and we are just defining variable. Yes, we are not, and uh, you know, we are just defining variable. Okay, and this is you know, defining variable, updating numbers, updating boolean, uh, defining boolean. Yes, they are all constant time. Okay, and here also I'm just printing that variable. This is also you know, uh, constant time. Okay, if you calculate, if you calculate this, it will be O and you know big O two. Okay, big O two. It means and if we are just adding this, yes, but we are dropping the constants every time. And if imagine if I have hundred hundred line of the same code, and it will not be the big O, big O hundred. It will be big O one. Okay, the answers will be the O one. Okay, and uh, because you know, and we are just. Uh, just looking, we are just, uh, you know, analyzing what is the time complexity of these algorithms, okay? And we are just giving x, yes, whenever we are just giving the numbers, yes, it, is, it will not be the, you know, too much matter of if you have 100 line of code even, okay? Therefore, I'm just, and we, therefore, we are just taking the, uh, the O1, which is the big O1 itself, okay? Also, we have a next type of complexity, which is logarithmic time complexity. And logarithmic time complexity, and uh, this is, you know, and uh, whenever we are for example working with huge amount of data yes and we are not iterating all of the values instead we are jumping from the for example we are just dividing half and half every time iteration i'm just dividing half and half i'm just iterating this and one of the best example for this is binary search okay and if imagine i have a list i have an array and inside one two three and four and five six and something like this yes if i if i have this array Yes, uh, every time uh, I'm just, for example, if I'm going to search inside from this, and uh, maybe the six, okay? If I'm going to search this six, every time I'm dividing half and half, and then I'm just um, for, I'm just comparing the, that target value to this, uh, this middle value, okay? And in, in this case, uh, I'm going to take the three and just compare uh, the three and the six, okay? But using binary search, must, uh, your list, your array must be sorted. Okay, and you know, whenever I'm comparing this, if this uh, target value is greater than this middle value, I'm just go there. Okay, I'm just go to the left side. Okay, and uh, I'm just looking this side. I'm not, I'm not going to look at this side. I'm not going to iterate all of the value. Even I have a million of numbers, I'm just dividing in the middle. I'm just taking the middle one. Yes, even you even you can take this one or you can take this one. And if, you know, if for example it, it will be there seven and it will be you will be going to take maybe four, but in this case, you know, it will be middle uh, numbers, which is the three and four. And we, we can take this one, is, is the target value is greater than, uh, yes. And then we are just, you know, taking the, we are just, we are not looking this side, we are just looking this side. And then we are gonna take middle one, also the five, and we are just comparing it, is it greater than, and then we're gonna compare with this, and then we found it, okay. And for this is, and for iterating entire list, you know, every time we are just comparing, it takes all n which is the linear time complexity, which is the O-N, okay? 
which is the third type of complexity. Okay, and uh, if we are if we are dividing half and half of array lengths, yes, we are just middle and middle we are comparing. This is you know the logarithmic time complexity. Okay, logarithmic time complexity better than linear time complexity because it's fast. You know, every time if you have a million numbers, I'm just taking the middle, middle, middle. I'm just fast find that target value. Okay. And uh, this is, and especially you understand also linear time also. We are in the linear time, we are iterating all numbers and turn by turn, okay? It takes the O n. Also, the next one is linear logarithmic time complexity, okay? And uh, for the, you know, uh, example, one of the best example for this is merge sort. Next one is a quadratic time complexity, uh, which is the n power of 2. And uh, example for this, we have a nested two loop. I have a four, and we have one loop. And inside, I have a, another loop, okay? And it means, you know, and I'm just iterating here one of the array, yes? And, and here also array. The time complexity will be the, and uh, which is the all in square, okay? It will be like this. But here the one case. And whenever your array is different, for example, the maybe length of this n, and the length of this m, okay? In this game, uh, in, this, in this case, uh, the time complexity will be uh, n m okay and it looks like this okay and we are just multiplying it and uh, this is about you know how it is a uh, linear and a quadratic time complexity it looks like it's just nested loops and the last one is 2 power of n which is the exponential time complexity okay which is the very bad you know this is very worst time complexity and uh, example for this what's kind of enough for example Uh, example for this uh, exponential co uh, exponential time complexity. Uh, for exponential time complexity, example, uh, if you remember, uh, we wrote the Fibonacci function on the recursion software, yes. And if you remember the Fibonacci function, that Fibonacci function's time complexity uh, exponential, okay? And I hope you all remember. And uh, this is, and that is, you know, the time complexity will be exponential of for Fibonacci functions, okay? <coughs> and. Uh, if you are remember uh, the, from the recursion video, yes, and we spoke about the Fibonacci Fibonacci sequences, and also we created function Fibonacci functions, and uh, that functions uh, time complexity is exponential, okay, and uh, this is all about uh, big O notation how it is, okay, okay. Let's want to see uh, what is the time, space complexity it looks like, okay, and uh, the space complexity and uh, whenever our algorithm used the extra memory, uh, it means uh, you know the space complexity is gross. And, uh, but especially, and uh, as we spot in the time complexity, and for iterating an array, and then just printing at the space complexity, and there is the constant, yes, okay. And if I have a function inside, for example, I'm just defined the t is equal to, for example, five, and then I'm just defined, for example, b is, for example, true, yes, something like that. And the uh, space complexity for this is constant, okay. Time complexity and space complexity the same constant, okay. And uh, whenever we are iterating, for example, and for example, I have a for loop, yes. And I'm just iterating, yes. And but whenever iterate, whenever I'm just iterating, yes. And then I'm just defining the variable here. For example, maybe the l is equal to empty list. It's like so. And then whenever I'm iterating, and then I'm just every iteration, I'm just append to this. It means the cons uh, time complex space complexity it will be the linear. Okay, for this kind of things and every time I'm just append yes every iteration and uh, I'm just append to this it will be space complexity will be the O n okay which is a linear and whenever uh, if I append to the to, um, to empty list okay and if you say and you can create whenever your algorithm create a list and this this size of that list it will be the n if it will be the n and that will be the time complexity will be uh, linear, okay, which is the big O n, okay, and also whenever, for example, every time, for example, you are iterating half, yes, the binary search. In this case, you are just every time you are app you are appending middle numbers. We spoke we spoke about the binary search, how it is work, yes, and each time, for example, each middle number, you are just append to this at a time space complexity. Space complexity for this kind of case it will be the logarithmic, which is the logarithmic, okay. And also for this kind of for defining variables for updating every time if you are updating the t or b it will be the time 
space complexity will be constant okay for creating and also for creating uh, two dimensional arrays yes which is the the columns n and the rows also n and for creating this at a time complexity will be in square okay in power of two if for example and the columns may be m and the time complex space complexity will be m and n like so okay and this is all about the space complexity how it looks like whenever your algorithm use extra memory it means you need to calculate the space complexity too also okay if you are not using extra memory and for example your code your algorithm not using the extra memory and this uh, for this the space complexity is always constant okay and this is all about the big o notation space and time complexity and how to measure it and then uh, and also on the data structures videos we will be going to see a lot of examples for for space and time complexity